Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Eclat algorithm, a type of association rule mining with a simple solved example. First, we will understand what is Eclat algorithm. Eclat algorithm stands for equivalence class clustering and bottom up lattice traversal. In association rule mining, we have multiple number of algorithms like a priori, FE growth and Eclat algorithm. Eclat algorithm is one of the popular association rule mining algorithm. In this case, we have been given totally nine transactions starting from T1 to T9. There are five items are given to us, bread, butter, milk, coke and jam. In this Boolean matrix, uh, the value one indicates a particular item is present in that particular transaction. The value zero indicates an item not present in that particular transaction. So this one indicates the bread is present in transaction one. This zero indicates bread is not present in transaction T2 here. Minimum support given to us is uh, 2 here. The meaning of this one is an item is called as a frequent item if it is present in minimum 2 transactions here. Now uh, we will try to apply the Eclat algorithm on this particular data set and then we will try to identify the frequent items from this particular items given to us. Initially we will take k is equal to 1. The meaning of this one is we will select one item at a time. As said earlier, the minimum support is equal to 2 here. Because we have 5 items, we will get 5 items in this particular column. Now we need to count in what all transactions this particular bread is appearing. Now if you look at this particular column bread, this particular bread is appearing in this particular uh, transaction T1 here. It is appearing in transaction T4, appearing in transaction T5, appearing in transaction T7, T8 and then T9 here. That is what I have written in this particular cell. Similarly, we need to count in what all transaction this particular butter is appearing. The butter is appearing in T1, T2, T3, T4, T6, T8 and then T9. That is what I have written here. Similarly, we need to count in what all transactions milk, coke and jam are appearing. The same thing we need to write over here. Now, once you write this particular transaction ID set, now we need to see which of these particular items are frequent items based on this particular minimum support. The minimum support given to us is 2. The meaning of this one is a particular item should appear in minimum 2 transactions then only it will be called as a frequent item. If you look at this particular TID set, all items are appearing in minimum 2 or more transactions hence all these particular items are frequent items over here. Now once you get this particular frequent items with k is equal to 1, now we will continue with k is equal to 2 here. Now in this particular case, what we need to do is, we need to select two items at a time. For that reason, what we do is, we will start with bread here. Bread is combined with the butter, it is combined with milk, it is combined with coke and then it will be combined with jam here. After that, we will combine the butter with milk, butter will be combined with the coke and butter will be combined with jam here. Next, we will combine this particular milk with coke and then milk will be combined with jam here. And finally, we will combine coke with jam here. So these are all the possibilities over here. That is what I have written at this particular stage. Now, once you write these particular possibilities, we need to count in what all transactions the bread and butter, both of them are appearing. That is a bit difficult task. What we do here is we will take the intersection of bread and butter here. So if I take the intersection of bread and butter, this is the bread TID set. This is the butter TID set. If I take the intersection here, you can see here intersection means uh, the common uh, transactions here. So T1 is present here and T1 is present here. T4 is here, T4 is here, T8 is here, T8 is here and T9 is present here and T9 is present over here. The meaning of this one is bread and butter are appearing t in T1, T4, T8 and T9 here. Similarly, we need to write all those particular uh, transactions. I have done it over here. Now, once you write this particular TID set for K is equal to 2, now we will <coughs> now we need to identify the frequent uh, items here as said earlier the minimum support should be equal to 2 here so if you look at this particular thing the bread and coke is appearing in only one transaction this is not a frequent item here similarly milk and jam is appearing in only one transaction again it is not a frequent item remaining all are frequent items here now once you're done with k is equal to 2 now we need to go with k is equal to 3. That is nothing but we need to select 3 items at a time. Now when you select k is equal to 3, 
we need to start with uh, the first element again or the first frequent item as said earlier this is not a frequent item and this is also not a frequent item over here now when i start with this particular bread and butter we need to combine this particular bread and butter with all these particular possibilities so bread butter bread milk the meaning of this one is bread butter milk we will get three items here so we need to take the intersection of these two things so once i take the intersection between these two things t8 t9 are common here so they will come and sit in this particular first row here you can see this one now we will take the combination of this one with respect to this one so whenever i take the co combination over here it will be bread butter bread jam that is nothing but bread butter jam here so that is what i have written here and then i need to take the intersection of this and this one between these two t1 is here t8 is here t1 is here and t8 is here t1 and t8 are common in this case now i will take the combination that is bread butter and then this particular thing that is milk bread butter butter milk that is nothing but bread butter and then the milk we have already written here there is no need to calculate it again now i will take this is the next one so bread butter this is the bread butter and then butter coke that is nothing but bread butter butter coke so that is what i have written here and if i take the intersection between these two things you can see here uh, the, after taking intersection we will get only t4 here this is the one present here and t4 is present here that is the only thing present here now similarly we need to identify all those particular possibilities uh, we have once you done with this particular thing we need to start from here and then once you have done this particular thing we need to start from here and so on once you have done that particular thing we will be getting totally four possibilities here with k is equal to 3 and t id set containing these things now once you have done this particular calculation we need to see how many of these things are having minimum support the first one is satisfying the minimum support because it has two item sets here or the two transactions here and second one is also satisfied because it is also having two transactions this one and this one is not satisfying the minimum support hence they are not the frequent items here now we will continue with uh, k is equal to 4 here so hence select k is equal to 4 between these two we need to form uh, the four item set whether it is possible or not we need to see here bread butter milk bread butter is here and then jam so we will get four uh, items here that is bread butter milk and jam and then we need to take the intersection between these two things we have t8 and t8 here the meaning is this particular four item set has only one transaction that is t8 in this case and this particular uh, transaction or you can say that the item set is not the frequent item set because it is not satisfying our minimum support here now we cannot continue from here onwards because we have only one item set here and it is containing four items we cannot write the uh, k is equal to 5 and all uh, over here because we don't have five items in this particular case now we will stop here and then we will try to identify the association rules from this particular k is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 4 here uh, we will continue with this particular k is equal to 2 in this particular case as said earlier these two are not the frequent items remaining all are frequent items here the meaning of this one is whenever a particular person buy bread he will be recommended butter also whenever he buy bread he will be recommended milk whenever he buy bread then he will be recommended jam and so on over here this is with respect to k is equal to 2 here when k is equal to 3 whenever a particular person buy bread and butter he will be recommended milk and whenever he purchased bread and butter he will be recommended jam over here these two are uh, not a uh, frequent item set so we should not consider them here and when it comes to k is equal to 4 uh, this is not a frequent item set so i should not consider this one while writing the recommendations or the association rules over here so we will get association rule for this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 here the same thing i have written over here so whenever a particular person purchase this particular bread then he will be recommended to purchase the butter here and so on in this particular case now we will take some advantages of eclat algorithm over a priori algorithm the first advantage is the memory requirement since eclat algorithm works in a vertical direction that is nothing but a depth first search approach it uses less memory than a priori algorithm 
The speed of Eclat algorithm is typically faster than a prior algorithm. Again, it is because of a vertical approach. The last one is the number of computations. Because of vertical approach, uh, Eclat algorithm takes uh, less uh, computation time or it does uh, less computation compared with a priori algorithm over here. So these are some of the advantages of Eclat algorithm over a priori algorithm in this case. So in this video, I have discussed what is Eclat algorithm, how Eclat algorithm works with a simple example. Also, I have discussed what are the advantages of Eclat algorithm over a priori algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.